Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. These cards should not be in reverse, but some, they are in reverse. So I'm going to take it as that. <laughs> so we have here a woman holding a coin in reverse. And the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, is in reverse as well. Behind that is action, the community, the attachment card, contract. Hmm. This is beautiful because I feel like for some of you, if you've had some type of financial blockage or burden or any type of hardship, this is coming to an end. I feel like for some of you, there has been someone possibly in a community that has really been chasing chasing after you, trying to bring some type of um, stress, fear, anxiety, or suffering to you. You are detaching yourself from whatever this energy is. You have contract here and the attachment. And this is showing that it's like you've been chained to a, a person, a mindset, a thing, a situation of some kind. And this is possibly something that has been blocking abundance for you. Um, sometimes holding on to an old person, um, situation, or even a mindset can absolutely block like your your security and stability. So it, it feels to me like there is something that you are releasing. So you could be walking away from friends, family, like I said, a group, a community, something that you are collaborating in. For some of you, there has been some type of jealousy or, or envy or chaos, conflict, competition, maybe even in your workplace or just with something that you do um, for sure to bring in money, okay? Um, this is shifting, and for some reason, I just felt the need to move the cards around this way. But yeah, it's like the action card is now right underneath this second chakra card. And that second chakra card, I mean, it's in the reverse. So I feel like there has been a blockage here for quite some time. Actually, um, when it comes to your energy, like how you express yourself, I feel like something here has just been blocked. The second chakra, I don't know, it's, it just feels like something has been like haunting you, okay? You could have even dealt with some type of trauma from the past. This is something that's being released though, which is very, very beautiful. It's finally being released. Even if you've had any type of issues with like, Even like fertility or reproductive issues. This has to do with your fertility and your abundance. It feels like there is something here. Like it won't come out. Like I'm getting this energy, but it almost seems like it's something that doesn't need to be said. I feel like for some of you though, what you're about to experience is like more self-expression that's going to lead to better community, better attachments. This is like you needing to nurture yourself. This is going to open you up to very close relationships or even intimacy. And yeah, the woman holding a coin here and the, with the attachment card, I'm going to be honest, it feels like this could even be like a divine feminine energy who is healing from like some type of fear of intimacy or maybe a, a lack mindset. Um, maybe you've been made to feel less than, maybe something has been taken from you. There is this fulfillment coming though, where you're soon going to experience like more creativity because you're releasing yourself. From a person, place, thing, a situation that doesn't serve you. There's like a, a contract here that's over. It's it's like a, a, a karmic soul contract of you feeling less than or you not really wanting to completely express yourself. Um, this could be even the end of like your singleness. You know, and I know everyone certainly isn't looking for a relationship. But for some of you, if you are seeking a relationship, this could be the end of it. Maybe you haven't felt like you had the time or you haven't found the right person, but it's something about your actual energy that is changing. I 
feel like it's just a, honestly like a release of some kind of trauma. Because, I mean, the second chakra, that's your sacral chakra. And at the bottom of the deck here is the third chakra, which is your, your solar plexus. So there is a sacral chakra. Yeah, look, see the broken heart card is in the reverse. You're healing. You're healing. This is going to allow you now to really balance yourself out. Yin and yang energy. And, and for some of you, like I said, it'll allow you to actually embrace a very close-knit relationship. Maybe even with another person. You're closing out a cycle and going into something brand new. Okay, beautiful. That third chakra, that's the, your solar plexus chakra. And that's like you stepping fully into like your life purpose. So it's a lot of creativity. Soul. Like you're, you're tapping in with your soul. I'm hearing soul expression. Yeah, magician at the bottom of the deck. See, your creativity and behind it is the moon. There is some type of illusion, something dark, a secret. Something that has been maybe blocking the truth. If this isn't you, this could be a masculine that you are connected to. The king of wands is here, but it's like you're moving forward here. Someone is walking away from a situation they're going towards something that they're very passionate about. And you have the high priestess here. You're following your intuition. This is going on a spiritual journey as well, for sure. With the high priestess here, the ace of wands and the high priestess, this is you fully embracing like a spiritual journey. It's a lot of just new energy. The page of pentacles, yeah, there is an offer here. So you may have an offer to move somewhere different, to take like a new job an offer to move forward in a relationship, a connection with a project. Yeah, the three of wands here. What's coming in? Yeah, the king of pentacles and the lovers. Okay, so this is someone making the choice to take action. Some of you are releasing yourself from a connection and you now are embracing your spiritual journey. And that is allowing you to connect with someone new. The King of Wands is here because the Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Now, this could be one masculine that is just embracing their life purpose. They're going from the King of Wands to the King of Pentacles. So, this is someone who is taking action and they're becoming very stable and secure. For some of you, um, specifically if you're like in the, the feminine energy, you could have walked away from someone, King of Wands, magician, someone who was creating illusions here. You're embracing a new beginning. You're walking away from this situation. And you now are choosing to embrace like this king of pentacle energy. Something that you can, it's manifesting here in the physical and it brings security and stability. Yeah, there's a lot of movement here. There is movement and travel. Hmm. I just feel like somebody is about to travel or relocate. The queen of swords here. It's like a brand new life. And the Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands here. There's a connection here with you and another person. I feel like you're speaking up. You're no longer carrying some kind of burden here where there has been, like I said, illusions and confusion. You're going into, look, the sun, the Two of Cups. You're dropping a situation completely. This could be a person. It could be a relationship. You're completely over, over it. You're done. And this could be something that has already ended. But like I said, there could have been some kind of lingering trauma or resentment even. That's over. You're going now towards a very, very happy partnership or connection. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a match for the King of Pentacles. Behind it, though, is the devil. There could be a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart or this person that you're connecting with could have Capricorn in their chart or you're leaving someone that has a lot of Capricorn in their chart or just a, a person that is very toxic. But again, with the devil card being out here in the Ace of Cups, this is like leaving a, a demon to be with an angel. 
<laughs> I just say it that way, but it's the truth. Yeah, you're unchaining yourself from, it's like a trauma bond. It's a toxic, low vibrational karmic connection. And you're choosing now to go into something that promotes healing, wellness, happiness, wholeness with that Ace of Cups. Those are the words I'm hearing. Wholeness. Wow. It's the Emperor. So the new love is the Emperor. Oh, my goodness. Yes, here we come. Look at that. Two of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Death. Your life is like about to change. This is life changing. Wow. Two of Swords. You or someone couldn't see something clearly. There was some kind of illusion or confusion. It's being removed. This is amazing. The Emperor and the Empress. So I don't know if for some of you, this is you leaving one masculine and going towards someone new, possibly, or feminine, take it how it resonates. Or I don't know if this is two different masculine energies or three. It could even be one, it, but it's definitely more than one. It's like a past energy here and a new energy. But I'm also getting like a past energy, a current, and a future energy. For some of you, there was someone you were dealing with in the past. You've met someone new that you could be entertaining now. But there's, you still, you're about to meet your, the actual one for you. Or you've been with someone for a long time. You're with the person now, but there has been blockages because there was still some type of lingering energy from the past situation. And now that that's being cleared out, you and this person will have an opportunity to really move forward. Take it how it resonates for your situation. But you're being released, finally. From something that has held you back for a very long time. Yeah, I feel like um, you're choosing to be like a conqueror with this Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. You're speaking up. You're speaking out. You're looking at whatever this stalemate, indecisive energy is. And you're choosing to walk away from it. You're choosing to confront a situation or a person. Because it's been causing a major burden for you. Or you're just getting some type of truth, clarity, or confirmation of something or someone that has been blocking you from this four of wands, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles energy. Like, this is you building long-term success, partnerships, great relationships. Definitely a major change to your finances here. And with the death card and the nine of pentacles to the star, star and the empress, I'm here. Somebody here, your singleness is ending. The Nine of Pentacles can for sure be like a very single, stable, secure, independent person. But with the death being here, followed by the Nine of Pentacles, the Star and the Empress. This could be someone like if you're wanting like marriage is in the cards for you. If you're not, you know, looking for a relationship or you're saying you don't want a relationship. I don't know why you would say that, but that's OK. Um. And the only reason why I say that is because it's such a gift to experience love, to be loved and to love a person, especially after having a lot of very difficult relationships with friends, family, and lovers. I don't know why people, after they are hurt, they want to never experience love and intimacy from another person, you know, relationships are mirrors relationships help you to grow and to ascend and to evolve um relationships teach you things about yourself that you'll never learn alone in hermit mode or isolation um so it's nothing wrong with embracing love and partnership and commitment and a lot of people also who of course want some type of legacy most people, you form legacy through being in covenant with the person. So it's here. But I mean, if someone is hell bent on being single forever, <laughs> there's an opportunity here for you still to create and manifest whatever you want. 
here to the side of me, um, there's another deck and the Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of this deck. The Ten of Pentacles, wow, Will of Fortune and the Two of Cups. So this is just coming in for somebody. Something has been cleared away. I don't know what you guys did, but you did something and you cleared away some type of energy that now has you fully aligned. And you're definitely coming out of some type of hardship or poverty or being left out in the cold, being overlooked. You're going from overlooked to overbooked. You're going from single to married. Like, look at this. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Come on. This is the second deck. The Ace of Cups was already out here before. The Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. It, it really can't. I mean, you have new love, new money, generational wealth, legacy, partnership, and good luck, fortune. This is extremely positive. It's literally, it's just beautiful. But you've been working hard to manifest this. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, you've been patient. And it seems like something that you've been working on for a very long time is just about to appear before you. Yeah, Nine of Wands, you worked hard for this. And here comes the equal give and take. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. Your, your days of burdens are over. No more looking over your shoulder. No more stress, fear, paranoia, anxiety. No more schemes. No more scams. You now are receiving justice. And you're being advised now to just walk by faith and not by sight. And also, there is a, a, a an energy here, a very dark energy. It can no longer have access to you. You won't even see this. This won't appear in your energy anymore. This dark energy that has been orbiting you, it, you're fully protected. She has two swords in her hand. You're extremely protected. And you won't have to see this or deal with this anymore. This is your justice. This is completely over. You don't ever have to worry about this person or this situation any, again. If this is an entity, it's it, it has no more power in your life. If it's a mindset, you're finally working through it. If it's past life karma or whatever, you're it's being banished. Like you're transmuting something here. If there's been some type of third party interference for some of you in a connection or just someone has been obsessing over the blessings and abundance that's coming into your life, you're moving beyond that going towards wish fulfillment. There's a queen of wands out here that came out with the three of swords and the eight of swords. This for some of you is, it's a person in your life that has been tied to you or someone that you are supposed to be with. There's a karmic, um, nasty connection here that's being severed because it's time for you to move forward. And for some of you, you can absolutely expect some type of travel, a, a change of residence, a change of job, relocation, or something like that. After a period of time of you almost feeling as if you will never receive what's for you, here comes that passion, new beginning. It's going to come rushing in, and it is your emperor. Page of Swords, King of Wands, the Lovers. Someone has been watching this person and trying to block this energy from coming towards you. Could be this queen of wands. This person is for sure. They're on their way to you. Yeah, everything is fine. Everything that you went through was to help you manifest. Wow. It's you manifesting a union. You and someone have been manifesting one another. You both have been manifesting each other. Whether you've already crossed paths with this person you may not even know them but there's been a spiritual blockage there's been um an outdated mindset some type of limited thinking there have been friends family scorn lovers whatever was standing in between you and a connection has been removed 100 percent. now what you're going to have to do is own your own personal freedom you're going to have to walk in that clarity, that knowing, that understanding that something for you is over. You can no longer think about the karmic or the ex or the friend, the family member. 
you need to banish that from your mind completely. It's no longer there. You have your woman. Okay, so this could be you or this is about a woman who has been blocking something in your life. You have your, the alien card. Someone could be a foreigner. Or you just feel like an alien. <laughs> you could be um, about to experience... No. it's just, For some of you, this has been some type of dark, karmic, feminine energy. They could be a foreigner. They could be in a different country or they watch you online or whatever the case may be. This person... They, they're being removed from your energy. This is going to feel like a sudden disappearing act. With the ghosting card here, I feel like somebody wanted you to be rejected. Everything that someone sent out to you, they're getting it back. For some of you, this woman could be um, a friend, a, a old friend or a family member. Or like I said, they could be the, the ex-lover or partner of someone that you're connecting with. This could be a total stranger. But this... I feel like this is someone who has hurt you. They've rejected you. Or this or this could be a man who has dealt with this person. They've blocked all communication, rejected this person, and that's the reason why they've retaliated in this way. Yeah, the waiting game is here. This is someone who was waiting. I feel like this is a, a woman who has been waiting for a masculine to return to them. And it didn't happen. So it's like this person started to attack a masculine, maybe even the feminine. Someone has been attacking your abundance. Karmic cycle. There you have it. This is someone from the past. That a person was in a karmic cycle with. And they were sending the evil eye. This is over. And this is why for so long. You may not have known exactly where you where you stood. With someone. Or this person. I feel, like, I feel like I'm picking up the energy of whoever. This toxic person is. This person is delusional. Like this person feels like the situation is up in the air. With them and a masculine. Or this could be a. A masculine doing this to a feminine. Somebody feels like the situation is up in the air. Like they have a chance with someone. And it's almost like a person has been fighting to hold on to someone that's not theirs. Or not theirs anymore. And this person's like, well, you know, I just figured the situation was up in the air. I thought we were on a break. And, you know, this person is going to come back. So this is someone who feels like they've tried to claim rights to... A feminine or a masculine that's in a divine energy and that's not their rightful partner. And they've gone as far as to even attack whoever else is coming into this person's life. Now, this could even be, like I said, this could be a sibling or a parent. It could be anyone. But someone here has been trying very hard to hold on to you or to a person that you're connected with. And they've been sending a lot of chaos. Look, thorns, the world, and chaos. Somebody has been willing to cause pain and suffering in your life and even their own life in hopes for like a reconciliation with a person. And I feel like this is someone that actually is reconciling with you. This could be a past life soulmate. I don't know if y'all can hear these birds on my door they just started like <laughs> it sounded like they were yelling almost wow this person hurt themselves trying to hurt you or block you from something but it's like with the reconciliation card here and the moon card you and someone have very very deep intense feelings for one another and you are now with creativity and manifestation, you're creating something and it has, wow, here she is. This person is a hot mess and angry over this man. This person is very emotionally immature. This is a man who may have children with someone, but wow. 
this sounds this seems specific, but I know a lot of people are going through there. I feel like there's a person out here who is possibly foreign, they're from a different place, there's something different about you and this person. They either have like an ex or they have a family that's not very accepting of you. But somebody feels like they've been completely wrong. Like they are very angry and upset that this man has chosen to go towards the divine feminine. A lot of you watching are women in the divine feminine energy. So I feel like this mainly home. They're the person that's very, very upset that they lost control over this masculine energy. But for some of you, it's like you're you're single, you're happy, and you're about to possibly start a family with this children car here. You work with children. If you have children, if this person has children, you could become a bonus parent. But I see here relocation. Like I said before, I was definitely picking up relocation. Someone's entire life is about to start. I'm talking like travel, relocation, starting a family, even if it's a blended family. And there's a person who is so upset because this person has trial and error. They've been doing everything to try to block someone, but they keep hitting a brick wall because they're trying to block a person who is an angel. There's an earth angel energy out here, a true divine feminine or masculine. They cannot be stopped or blocked. Yeah, you and this person, you're working together in in spirit to come together and actually build and manifest a, a life here on the earthly realm. That's why we saw the king and queen of pentacles. So you definitely have a person that has chosen you or someone that you've chosen to be with. But there is a very jealous, envious person from the past, um, friend, family member, lover, or whomever, this person has been causing a lot of chaos and conflict. But fortunately, again, this is being removed. So there's nothing but wish fulfillment here. Like your path, your roads are open. Whoever this is from the past, this person has been really sending a lot of just evil eye, a lot of chaos, conflict, a lot of projections. This person has also possibly been trying to make a person very nostalgic about the past. Someone has been waiting on a breakthrough with their abundance as well. The reason why someone's abundance has been blocked is because of this ex-friend, family member, or lover. I mean, we see what it is. There's really no need to focus too much on this past situation. I'm going to pull a few love oracles because it looks like someone here, whether they know that they're being spiritually attacked or not, because the high priestess is out here, there's definitely someone in this connection that is very intuitive. And maybe this person is not. Um, look at this. Y'all, I cannot make this up. I just, You saw me just cut the day. You have here a karmic partner who is clingy, who will not let go. And this is a woman. There is a woman out here who is completely obsessed with a masculine energy. They've become obsessed with this person's life. And I feel like this person has been blocked. There is no communication. Someone could have relocated and left this person. This person could have even relocated. This karmic feminine could have relocated. But someone has moved. There is distance between two people. And someone is very upset that they don't know what's happening in the life of someone else or they're upset because they know that they are not a part of someone's future. And because you are in someone's life or about to be in their life, you have also become the object of their obsession. And, and I'm sure that they're trying to attack you as well. Clear, clarity. Yeah, you can see there's a complicated situation that someone is able to see clearly now after going through an awakening. Yeah, somebody has done a lot of shadow work. They've gone within. And now, look at this. Fertility, blessings, and an offer of commitment. Someone sees the truth. Someone can see now that there is a very, very jealous, obsessed ex-lover that they have that is watching and stalking and spying on them because... They are choosing now to be affectionate with you. Somebody sees you as part of their soul purpose. 
So whoever this other person is, like they, they're very upset about the fact that this person is pursuing you. Yeah, somebody is pursuing you. They're making plans. And whoever this false twin flame, this counterfeit um, connection, that's over. This person is, someone is making plans right now to come in to secure a future with you, to protect, to provide. There's earth energy here, a fresh start. So like I said before, somebody could definitely have a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Cutting the deck here, you see air. I'm getting um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone here wants to give you great communication and they do, they want to build. This is manifestation here of something great, of good karma. And whoever this feminine is, this is someone who has possibly betrayed a person and they've been released, but they want a second chance. But someone here is offering romance and they want to come together in a union. So this is beautiful. You guys right now are being advised to look. Once again, there's an airplane traveling, leaving. For some of you, you and a person, you're traveling. This could even be a long distance relationship. For some of you, you and I just feel like I feel like I'm talking to somebody right now. You have a challenging connection with a person. Your challenges is not due to a lack of, of love or a lack of commitment. Your challenges in this connection, there it could be distance. It could be some financial challenges, but a lot of them are due to the challenges coming from people around the connection. It has no, there's genuine love between you and a person. Like, I'm, I'm seeing here where two people, you could be traveling together. They could leave at a distance. Okay. There, there's a lot of distance in this. Real, I don't know what this is. So, you could be in a long distance relationship with a person, or you may meet someone that lives at a distance from you, but they also have a person that's at a distance from them, from their past. So you could be meeting a person that's like new to your area, your community, because the community card is out here, or you're new to their area. Okay, community and all of this air travel and distance also to me makes me think about online as well. So somebody, there could be distance between everyone involved in this situation, but someone is watching a person very closely online. And they're trying to gather information. I heard gather in information as well as evidence. Someone is paying attention to what someone is doing and saying online. And it's almost like they are crafting a text. Someone is purposely just sending a text to someone's home or their finances, their security and stability in hopes of blocking a connection. But I feel like the attacks are just making someone feel more safe to love the person that brings them peace. And they're just learning a lot about self-development and growth. Somebody is very loyal to you or they will be. And I, this is probably why a person is very upset. And especially in the case of, you know, if someone was previously married and there's children involved or whatever, someone could be choosing to start a family with someone new. And whoever they're starting a family with may not have children or they have adult children or something. Somebody just feels that the person that they want to be with is about to go and live happily ever after with another person and they are extremely angered and offended by it. But this is your good karma. This this is your destiny. This is your karma. This is your person. And I mean, everyone has a past, but someone here has someone from their past that is not giving up. And I don't even think that there's anything for them to latch on to. This is just someone that's obsessed. Because I know for a sure fact that this divine feminine and masculine, they're not entertaining anyone from their past. They're They're too connected to one another. These two people are going through an actual spiritual awakening together and a transformation. There's there's loyalty here, even if there is distance. And I had a reading like this a few weeks ago. This is someone who is choosing not to share their sacral energy, their sexual energy or anything with another person. This is someone that is 100 percent faithful, loyal and devoted to whatever future they're manifesting with you. 
And I don't know, you know, like I said, we just came out of Mercury Retro. I don't know if someone's ex has reached out to them or is watching them online. But the fact that this person has this type of love and loyalty for you or you have this for someone, it has an ex, a friend, a family member, someone jealous to the point that this person, it's like they're hurting themselves trying to hurt you. Look at that, fate. It's a faded connection here. You have your gifts and offers. So like I said, somebody could be watching something online. They may notice that a person is buying you things. Look, and this is causing drama because somebody knows that you've met your divine flame or your divine flame is coming towards you. The only thing that possibly stopped you and this person before was timing issues. They could have been due to, like I said, physical distance or just something, but you and another person, there is no blockage here because of you. It's just life and other situations. But these life situations have taught the two of you lessons that's allowing you both to come into a union together. And this could be somebody that you're dealing with now. You know, it doesn't have to be someone from your past. This could be someone you're dealing with now, but they're definitely like a past life soulmate, divine counterpart to you. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, it's definitely something, I, it's like distance has separated you and another person. The timing. It's like you and someone, you came together, but maybe they took a job or something happened. Yeah, because like even on this card, it faded. There's been some kind of separation. And this could be, like I said, for some of you, this could be somebody that you talk to every day right now. But there, there's some kind of separation. It could just be due to physical distance. This could be someone who has to travel a lot for work or they had to relocate for work or, or something. But there's an undeniable attraction between you and this person. You guys are captivated by one another's energy. <laughs> falling in love, new chapter. Falling in love and new chapter. You cannot deny this. It's faded. 100%. It's faded. And someone thought that by creating drama, that like a person would forget about you or walk away from you. No. It's loyalty, it's commitment. That's not changing. Wow. That's beautiful. So don't don't worry yourself about any type of drama or disharmony that's coming from outside people. These are people who are just angry because all of their tactics did not work. Somebody this is definitely a connection that has been heavily attacked. And the culprit is, I feel, this Queen of Wands energy. I'm getting very strong Leo Cancer energy. With all of this moon energy. Or this is just someone with that moon energy. This it, it could be any sign, but whoever this person is, they've been attacking you from the from the background. A lot of you, you don't even know. You don't even know like this person's name or anything. I feel like this is someone's ex that they don't talk about. They don't bring this situation up. They left this situation. Like either this masculine ghosted at this feminine or this feminine ghosted at this masculine. But like they've been sending this evil, hateful energy towards this masculine ever since. And because you are connected to them and maybe in this divine thing that high priestess energy, you're probably able to pick up on this energy. You can tell that there's a very angry, obsessed, jealous energy that's still att attached to this masculine. And it really is, to be honest, in this reading, it's not anything that this masculine is doing. I, I don't, I feel like this masculine is unaware of how deep the jealousy, the hatred, and the envy actually, or obsession actually goes with this feminine. But 
this doesn't seem like this person is entertaining. This person is completely focused on the divine feminine. And that's the reason why this other feminine is angry. You have it here. The emperor and the empress. But I'm telling you, it's somebody in the background obsessed. This person has been doing something to try to manifest the person back into their life. They could have even gone as far as to do magic. <laughs> the moon card here. So someone here, okay, moon magic. Someone has been obsessed with doing possible moon magic. I just got that. Yeah. And this is what has been chasing up behind you for so long. 